his new sergeant. I was also POA president, a Peace Officer Association president. And the whisper around the department had been that the assistant chief was having an inappropriate relationship with one of our professional staff analysts. Um, at the same time, was working on getting her upgraded to manager level, right? So there's promotion issues um, and status issues that were happening. And it was always just that, it was always just kind of the whispers. Until one day, um, I was approached as both the POA president and a supervisor that uh, an email was inadvertently printed out. And it was very descriptive as to there's no question at all what's going on here. I made the appointment, went in and had to sit down with the chief um, of confidential matter and just laid it all out. I had obtained that email and I just handed it over to him. I assured the chief that it wasn't from outside. Um, at this point, to my knowledge, it was the chief and myself and one other person who had knowledge of the email uh, kept that person confidential because they did the right thing and um, trusted that he would do the right thing. In which he did, things were changed. Decisions were taken away from the assistant chief because they had a relationship and on. Right. So it's against city department rules. It doesn't affect anybody other than those two. Generally speaking, there's some of the promotional issue concepts in there, but it's not like People are getting moved from shift to shift or anything like that. She's kind of a standalone position. However, as a sergeant, I'm now mandated to go to that person's supervisor, who is the chief of the department, with a basically uh, a complaint, uh, sexual harassment possibly, because there's there's a definite power issue between those two and that was something that man that that wasn't easy I was a new sergeant so yeah I, I could have ignored and put myself at risk because a failure to report is is a major violation which can include up to and including dismissal the reporting is there and the confronting now who who do I confront do I go towards the assistant chief with the, hey, this is happening, it's inappropriate, how are you gonna handle it? Or do I go to the, uh, the female side? I've always been a rules person and they, they actually protect us in what we do. Um, not only going and doing the reporting, but there's also that damage control behind. Stop the rumors, stop the whispering. This doesn't do good for anybody. Uh, unless you have personal knowledge about it and you do, you need to report that don't talk about it. So while we're reporting it and having that discussion, um, at the same time, we're telling others, if you have direct knowledge, you need to step up. If you're just hearing rumors, you need to drop it. Because that's, in my opinion, those are just as bad as if you are in the same, doing the same thing. They're still married today. They end up getting married, have two kids. We're all good friends now. Uh, this actually put a lot of that bad stuff behind us because he's he's a rule guy too and an ethical guy who got spun up into something. So it works out, you know, um, as hard as that was to, to take that step in to interfere between them as, as it could have been, right? And to expose that, I think overall it was a much better thing than to have that secret going on causing a lot of turmoil throughout the department.